The first thing I'm going to talk about is the surface area. The surface area of the drip pan would be what your drip pan covers from the drip field above. That would be like 144 square inches, which is what this pan happens to be. Now how do I know what that area is? How did I figure it out? I calculated it from the length times the width. For purposes of our pan here, this is length, this is width. Now, why is that length instead of height? Because I'm holding it on its side. If I use my ruler here and measure it, it's 12 inches by 12 inches. 12 times 12 is 144. What did we find out? We found this length times width was 144 square inches. If I take my ruler and I measure this, this is going to be 2 inches. So 144 times 2 is going to be 288 cubic inches. And we divide it by 231. This pan actually holds approximately one and a quarter gallons of liquid. You take your cubic centimeters. So if you were to measure this in centimeters, that is equal to your milliliters. So if you were to calculate, oh, I have 300 cubic centimeters of space. Well, that is 300 milliliters of space. What we need to do is we need to calculate the volume, but not the volume that we just talked about. Because that volume contains a lot of space. There's air, and air doesn't weigh anything. So we're not going to calculate that volume. We're going to calculate the volume of the metal itself. So I want you to, I'm, I've got my pan here and now I want you to imagine you, that we folded this pan out. We broke our, we broke our watertight seals uh, and just folded the pan out and we would have a kind of a bulky cross shape that goes like this. For, for our example here, our big square is going to be what? 12 inches by 12 inches. So our big square is 144 square inches. And then each of these sides is a 2 inch by 12 inch rectangle. So the thickness of the metal in this case is, this is a 16 gauge pan, so it's about 1 16th of an inch. We calculate the weight by multiplying the material volume by the material density. Now that sounds complicated, but it's not. You are, we already figured out how to do the material volume, and the material density is just one little step, and that is multiplying it by the material density, and the material density of steel is approximately 0.28 inches. Now for you metric guys, the densities are a little different and you just use the same process, just plug in the numbers that apply to your situation.